Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to be using Jasper.ai chat for your article writing needs. If you want to write articles faster, there's a great way of doing it by not really actually writing them yourself and using AI with chat as I'm going to show you in this video. If you'd like to follow along, I will leave my link down below in the description. Not only can you get a free trial for Jasper, but many bonus words. Also, just a side note, if you do want to use the chat, it comes along with the boss mode or the entrepreneur plans. So let's continue. In case you haven't used chat before, it's going to be a brand new feature right here. And while it's in beta at this specific time of creating this video, using this isn't going to count towards any of your credits, which is phenomenal if you ask me. It's a good way of trying it out in the beginning. Here are the steps that we're going to need for this. So I'm going to do something related to golf. I love talking about it. So that's just going to be the topic. If you're going to be doing this for your own article, you can start by really kind of starting broad unless you know exactly what you want to talk about. If you already have your title, you can skip this part, but this is going to be good for kind of eliminating writer's block. Maybe you want to write something about golf, but you're not exactly sure. So first things first, we're going to come up with some blog post titles. Let's paste that in there and just hit enter. All right, so five tips for improving your golf swing, the benefits of a consistent golf practice routine, a beginner's guide to understanding the different types of clubs, golf etiquette, what you need to know before you hit the course, the basics of mastering putting in golf, why playing on a variety of courses is important in golf, unexpected benefits, the mental challenges, troubleshooting, choosing the right equipment. So very cool. If you haven't used chat before, I'll go over the uh, actual aspects or the icons. You can hide this, you can like it, you can dislike it, you can try it again, you can copy it, or you can open open it in documents, which is what I'm going to do for the following. Okay, so this is similar like having a Google Doc on the right side, which is great. And what I want to do is just kind of repeat this again and show you some more examples. The fundamentals of golf, a beginner's guide. Uh, I like that one because it's very broad and basic. Improve your swing with these 10 essential drills. So what we can do is just move this over to the section here. And let's say I want to use this one. That'll be our title. Okay, so we can go from there. So now what we need to do is go to the next section, write a blog post outline. So we have our title and we need to know what we're going to have in kind of like the middle, like the good stuff, right? Write an outline for the fundamentals of golf, a beginner's guide. So let's do that and see what we get. All right, we got a lot going on there. That's a really good one. So introduction, definition and overview of golf, benefits, basic rules and etiquette, uh, equipment, types of clubs, the swing mechanics. This is really good and can allow for a much longer article, which is great. Perfect. So now we have our like, these are going to be, so this is like our H1 because it's the title, of course, right? Introduction, this would be H2. And I like what they've done here. So see with the Roman numerals, these would be your H2s and anything under with AB would be like H3, H3. So this is nestled in underneath that one, the same thing with A and B under two. So what we wanna do is go through and just make content for each of these specific sections. So since we have our steps here, write an introduction paragraph four and we're gonna have the title there since it's already there. Oh, it's not already there. Let's uh, do this. The fundamentals. And let's generate. So golf is a sport that is enjoyed by people all around the world. The fundamentals are essential. Just kind of skimming from understanding the rules, choosing the clubs, combination of challenge, and so on and so forth. Looks like a good little intro. I'm just going to copy this specific section so I can put it in the introduction. We don't need for it to actually say the introduction, you know, usually to start it off. Okay, then we have the definition and overview. For these, I'd probably just keep that, you know, without a headline there. This could be an H2, a separate H2. It's really up to you, uh, definition and overview of golf. So now that we've done that, the last thing we need to do, that will be the last thing. Next, we need to, you know, write a paragraph about, and what we're going to do is add in these specific sections. So we're going to be writing a paragraph about each of these sections. So we have the definition and overview of golf. I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it. So what it's going to do is write a paragraph for this specific section. Okay. Uh, pretty much talking about it, played 18 holes. Uh, they compete with another against themselves, judged by their score. Uh, looks good. You'll be on the way to learn the basics you need to know about golf. So let's copy this. This necessarily, I'm just going to copy this and put it as the intro uh, with this guide. I feel like that's something you can put before we've already talked about. Then, of course, benefits of taking up the sport. So once again, I'm going to copy this. And what I want to do, this is important here, benefits of taking up, you know, instead of the sport, I want to be more specific. Taking up, I'm just going to put golf. 
Okay. So it can have numerous physical and mental benefits. Uh, with so many benefits, it's hard to see why so many people around the love golf. Great. Just skimming through once again. All right, cool. Now we get to, in, in my opinion, the first H2. So we have like the basic rules and etiquette. So that's going to be a headline. And this, oops, let's hit Control Z. Undo this. So what I want to do is we're, just, we're going to keep writing more paragraphs. So let's write a paragraph about this section now. And once again, we want to add golf in there, essential terminology and lingo for golf. So it's essential, like party, approach shot, mulligan, birdie, uh, hole in one, four, and so on and so forth. Great. That is all related to that. So I'm going to put this here. And this we define as H2. This can be H3. One less space there. Yeah, keep it like that. Great. Same thing with safety guidelines. This will be an H3. <clears throat> And once again, I'm just copying this, write a paragraph about, oh, we already have it right there. So perfect. Since it's already there sometimes, write a paragraph about safety guidelines and course etiquette for golf and enter. Whenever playing golf, it is important to follow certain safety guidelines and course etiquette. First, warm up properly. Also, stay aware of your surroundings. Additionally, replace divots, fix ball marks on greens, rake bunkers. Great. A lot of good advice there. And of course, I like skimming through. When I'm doing more words overall, I like skimming through. This is going to be an H3. So, you know, oops, you can always uh, pause it and, you know, read the uh, content more yourself. Okay, then we have equipment and technology used in golf. Oh, man, my cat just had catnip and she is flipping out. I can hear her upstairs. It's really funny. <laughs> uh, H2 here. So once again, we want to write a paragraph about... Actually, we don't really need to. That's just a subheadline. There we go. My cat's distracting me. So write a paragraph about types of clubs used in golf and go. When it comes to golf, there are a variety of clubs that can be used depending on the player's preference and skill level. Drivers are designed for longer, straighter shots and so on and so forth. Irons come in sets that range from one to nine and allow for accurate mid-range shots, wedges. That's great. And what I want to do with this is actually expand upon it a little bit more. So this is an H3, and if we wanted to, we could just talk more about that specifically. So like the driver, reasons to use it on the golf course. So this would actually be H4 since it's more of like a, a stem from the, uh, the previous paragraph, right? A paragraph about the driver, reasons to use it on the golf course. So it's a central club for any golfers, allows players to hit the ball great distances with accuracy off the tee and so on and so forth. Skimming through looks great. So that's a way of adding even more content. You can just, you know, pick from it. So this is H2, this was H3, and this is a part of the previous one. So we can do H4 there. And what we could also do is one like with the, you know, irons, like the reasons to use them. So let me just do that one more. Okay, so once again, this would be an H4. And what we do is write a paragraph about irons and reasons to use them on the golf course. Irons are a great tool for golf, uh, golfers of all skill levers. Of all, they can benefit from using them from water to avoid water hazards or bunkers. They also come in sets. Additionally, having a variety of irons give golfers options during difficult shots. Great. So let's put that there. Okay. And then we would probably go back to types of clubs used. And then we're going to accessories. Uh, so that would be three. A paragraph about accessories and advanced technology for golfers. Okay. Once again, being a little bit more specific here and enter. Let's see. State of the art GPS helps golfer track their shots more accurately. Uh, gloves for golfers to keep a better grip. Accessories such as divot tools and tee holders also aid in keeping course conditions pristine for other players. Good. It's exactly what we're looking for. And you'll notice something about this is that the quality of the content that it creates is just fantastic. Once again, you can always pause the video if you want to read it a little bit better. We're already at a thousand words and we have so much more to go. And the cool thing about this is that you just repeat the process over and over and you can expand upon each of them. But I do want to just go to the last aspect of it. So write a conclusion paragraph four, and then let's just copy our title, of course the fundamentals 
of golf, a beginner's guide. So overall, the fundamentals of golf has provided a comprehensive look at the game of golf and provided the fundamentals needed to begin a journey as a golfer. I'd probably just remove the title from there. It's a little repetitive, but from learning proper techniques to understanding the importance of clubs and accessories, golfers now have an information guide to rely on when starting out in golf. With practice, dedication, and patience, following these fundamentals can lead beginners to an enjoyable experience in the wonderful world of golf. Overall, I think it could be a little bit better. Like I said, the, the title is a little repetitive. We just do try again and see what we get. Let's see. It's a rewarding and challenging sport that requires dedication, practice, and knowledge. You learn to stand grip, swinging uh, with the right tools in hand. Any golfer from beginner to professional can experience success in the green. I like that one a little bit better. So that would be our conclusion. So if you wanted to do something like this, we got our H2 uh, conclusion. Okay. And of course, we would just go through the same um, paragraph section with all of these, you know, create your headers and so on and so forth. But but that's a very quick guide when it comes to using Jasper.ai chat for writing articles. And like I said, you can write them much faster when you don't have to actually like type them all out. You're just going through these steps here and I'll kind of reiterate them for you. If you don't have any titles in mind, you can get some title ideas. Once you do that, create a blog post outline based upon that specific title. Then you want to create an introduction for that. And then all you're doing is writing a paragraph about each of these specific outline sections. You can increase it, you can expand upon it, you can add more, you can delete, you can duplicate, whatever you want to do. And then of course, last but not least is going to be the conclusion. Obviously, however long you want to make it, you're just going to need to write more paragraphs. And of course, you know, it would have been very repetitive if I kept doing that over and over. I think you get the idea, but you are free to ask any questions down below in case you need any other help. If you'd like to test out Jasper, I will leave my uh, free trial link down below along with some bonuses for testing it out. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you got some value out of this video and I will see you in my next one.